Hey folks, this is a quick demo of how to use Skydive Designer for crew or for wingsuits where you're thinking about stacks. I've opened up a new document and the first thing is to go to the more setting and change my preference to instead of from above, from behind. You can see here it's crew dogs, wingsuit stacks. If I go back to the main jump here, I see I now have my different stances, uh, my wingsuit guy taken from behind and my crew dog. So I can take my crew guy up, up here, uh, deselect him, change the wingsuit, and you see the guys to drag out actually change to match your stance now. And I can bring out uh, a wingsuit guy, a couple of wingsuit guys, and here we've got some, um, some XRW going on. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get rid of everybody, and we can just kind of show a couple of other useful tips. Useful here is to use the symmetry. Uh, we're going to build a big crew diamond and I've got the left right symmetry activated. So let's zoom out a chunk, um, pick crew, and um, we can start using the symmetry. So you see if I put guys on the left or right, then they're automatically duplicated across. Um, and if I put the guys in the middle, then the app is smart enough to know not to repeat them because the repetition is already kind of there in what we've selected. Um, so. That is a um, very quickly built 16-way diamond. Up a diamond. Um, this is crew. It could easily have been uh, for wingsuit. I just don't know how the wingsuit formations tend to work. And now we can very quickly slot it as well. So um, I've saved a uh, list of uh, crew dogs. Here we go. Load up the crew roster. Um, and I can just drag them into place. So I'm going to take the tail, uh, Wendy can be out on the wing, Chico can have the other wing, and so on. We just drag people into place. Um, that's it. Thanks very much.